Good morning and welcome to Christians Aren't Sheep, a beginner's guide to meditation. My channel is totally dedicated to Isaiah 40 verse 31. All those who wait upon the Lord will renew their strength. They will rise up with wings like eagles. They will run and not be weary. They will walk and not faint. Key word being wait, another word for meditate. And this morning I did a little bit of stretching, about five minutes, counting a few of my blessings which are many. <laughs> and that uh, helps promote a quiet mind. And I'm fixing to go out and do a little cross-country skiing this morning. Get a little exercise in. This stuff in the back of the truck. Got a little ski track close by home here, so. And, uh, yeah, burning off a little bit of energy. Another good prelude to meditation. And, my name is Ron Heinrichs, and I am the host of this show. And the third thing that's helpful for preparing for meditation is a little bit of reading from the Word. This morning's reading is called Fast Food Encouragement. Maria carried her fast food lunch to an empty table. As she bit into her burger, her eyes locked on those of a young man seated several tables away. His clothes were soiled, his hair was limply, and he clutched, hung, <laughs> his hair hung limply, and he clutched at an empty paper cup. Clearly he was hungry. How could she help? A gift of cash seemed unwise. If she bought a meal and presented it to him, might he be embarrassed? Just then, Maria remembered the story of Ruth, where Boaz, a wealthy landowner, invited the impoverished immigrant widow to glean from his fields. He ordered his men, let her gather among the sheaves and don't reprimand her. Even pull out some stalks for her from the bundles and leave them for her to pick up. And don't rebuke her. This is from Ruth chapter 2. In a culture where women were utterly dependent on their connection to men for survival, Boaz demonstrated God's loving provision. Eventually, Boaz married Ruth, redeeming her from her serious need. As Maria rose to leave, she placed her untouched packet of fries on a nearby table, meeting the man's eyes as she did so. If he was hungry, he might glean from her fast food field. God's heart is revealed in the stories of Scripture as they illustrate creative solutions to encourage. Today's thought, is there someone around you today that you might invite to glean from the abundance in your life? Ask God to reveal the needs around you that you might respond with his heart prayer for this morning. Dear Father, show me who needs me to extend your love to them today. Amen. Amen. <laughs> See you tomorrow. <laughs>